Hey everybody, welcome back. This is just a quick little guide on how to track the light source in the relight effect in the studio version of DaVinci Resolve 18.5 or later. Here I am in the color page and I have this shot that just has this slight pan, which I think is good enough to show you how this works. And I'll just make a serial node before this and we're gonna make everything really dark. I'm gonna kind of darken this down like a day for night sort of thing, something like that. And we do have a little light here, but it's not really lighting up things how we want. So we're gonna add a relight effect right here under the stove. Let's label this dark. And I'm gonna make a layer node here. That's just gonna take the original image and put it over our dark image, just like we have a copy of it on a layer above. And now I can limit this node with a window or a mask of some kind and I can essentially put the bright version on top of the dark version, okay? But instead of using a window, we're going to use our relight effect. So I'll throw relight on top of this node, and here I can adjust my mat, and I'll turn off our preview here. So now I can move this up and down and kind of dial in this light here. So here's before and here's after. We're just adding a little light to the stove. Looks pretty nice, but this shot is moving. So we're gonna go ahead and track this motion. Before I do that, I'm gonna use a little trick to help with this performance a little bit. I'm just gonna make a serial node before this relight node. We'll call this relight. And this first node, I'm gonna also put an instance of relight, but I'm just gonna check output surface map. What this is gonna do, if I go to highlight mode, is this is just going to give us our normal pass. And then I can connect this normal pass to the second input of our relight, and I'll just reset the input of our relight like this, and select relight, and here where it says surface map, let's say use input two. So all this is doing is instead of within this node generating that normal map, it's going to generate the normal map in this first node, and then this relight node is going to use that normal map. So we'll just rename this normal map. If you don't quite understand how this works, I have another video on this right here on optimizing performance in Relight, but that's kind of what we're doing right now. So now the advantage here is I can take this normal Relight node, I can right click and go to Node Cache and turn the Node Cache on under playback. If I have Render Cache set to User, this will think about that whole shot. And once this turns blue, then the playback here is amazing. Check this out. Oh, so good, so easy. So now it's easy for me to scrub this and I can see that the light isn't really moving with the shot, which in this particular shot, it's maybe not that big of a deal, but we can still track this to follow the shot. So how do we do that? Well, we can go to our tracker here with our relight node selected, and I'm gonna switch this to FX right here in the upper right-hand corner. Then I go down here to this little icon and click it once, and that will add a little plus here in my viewer. And I can take this and put this on whatever I want to track. So let's track these little bird salt shaker things. We'll just put this right here. And since I happen to be at the end of the shot, I'll just track this backwards with this track reverse button and it will track that motion. So now we've tracked it throughout the shot and this works for a shot with any kind of motion. As long as it stays in frame, it'd be pretty easy to track. And so now we have our FX tracker applied. If we switch back over to our open FX overlay, and we have our light source here. I can put this light source wherever I want. So maybe I'll put that right kind of where this bright part is anyway. And now if we play this back, look at this. It just follows that tracker. It does that by default because in my relight node under light position, I have this checked source follows FX tracker. And you can offset it. You can move this around and it'll still follow the movement of that tracker, which is very nice. So it doesn't have to be right on where you tracked. It just has to have the same motion as what you tracked. So I can put this in here and then this follows our footage perfectly. Oh, so good. So yeah, to track a light source, not too bad. Let's go ahead and reset our node grade and we'll do this one more time. I have my relight here, which you don't have to do in a layer node. You could even do this in a serial node if you aren't gonna do this kind of day to night thing. Let's just say we wanna punch a light up a little bit. I can just make a serial node and put relight on it. And maybe I'll just add a light here kind of off screen. So we have this light kind of coming down from the top. I'll label this. And here in this relight node, instead of surface map internal, I'll use input two because we've already thought about the normal map here. I'll just plug that in so that it uses that normal map and it doesn't have to think about it so much. And we'll turn off this relighting map preview. And now I can boost up the gain, maybe push the temperature a little warmer. And now it looks like we have a light on above the sink. So here's difference before and after. And we want to track this with the motion. So I'll go to our tracker and under the effects tracker, let's add a tracker point. That'll add a plus. And then we can just track whatever's closest to our light source that stays on screen the whole time and things don't go in front of. So maybe just this corner of the window, that would be fine. And I'll just track this backwards. You could also start in the middle and track forwards and backwards. That would work fine too. And now our light source moves with our shot. 
very, very nice. So now we have a fake light added to the top and nobody is the wiser. So sweet. Hey, if you enjoyed this little fancy color grading tutorial, make sure to check out our pro color grading in DaVinci Resolve class. It's available now at groundcontrol.film. Thanks for hanging with me. You're the best, you the best, you the best, you the best.